Welcome back. All right, we have Nick Avera here with us today. Thanks for being here, Nick. Nick is a personal trainer, and he has some insight that we don't normally hear. So let's get right to it. <laughs> We've always heard calories in, calories out. Is, and that just usually means more work, less food. Is that just the bottom line how it is? Uh, absolutely not. Uh, a lot of times it can be, but a lot of uh, other times it is not. And uh, a lot of times there's so many factors that go into why we may be having issues with our weight. It could be hormones, it could be um, lifestyle changes, it could be not only the calories uh, that we're intaking, but what kind of calories we're intaking. Mm. Mm -hmm. So what would you say with that being said, what's the biggest obstacle that people typically face when it comes to weight management? Absolutely. So obviously the calories in, calories out does play a role, but one of the mm -hmm. biggest issues that I see today is uh, stress management. Mm -hmm. You know, we have, uh, you know, we have our moms and dads who have full-time jobs working 40, 50, 60 hours a week, having to get to sporting events for their kids two, three, four nights a week, and then having to worry about dinner and then waking up and doing it all over again. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and then, you know, different things such as relationship issues, job stresses, all of these things play a role in our stress. And then uh, what typically happens is that stress begins affecting our health in mm. a multitude of ways. Yeah. So I know that you've told me in the past that it affects your adrenal glands. Can you kind of go into that a little bit? Absolutely. So uh, when, we're in a, when we're in a high stress environment, when we're living a high stress life, we absolutely uh, have the potential to get stuck in a fight or flight mode. And when we're mm -hmm. stuck in that fight or flight mode, our insulin is gonna be affected, our insulin regulation, our thyroid, our sex hormones, all these different things, which uh, then affects our digestion and, and several other issues. And what happens at that point is we run into metabolic issues. And the metabolic issues is what's going to stall our weight loss. Well, and you meant, when you mentioned thyroid and other things there, it, well, insulin, so that would mean diabetes, right? Or Absolutely. on your way to that. Absolutely. When you go to a doctor and you find out that those are some of your problems, is I mean, do people miss the root cause of those problems? A lot of times they do, and, and I think the issue is is that in Western medicine, um, our you know our our practitioners are taught treat the symptom instead of looking for the root cause of that mm -hmm. symptom. Uh, and the second issue that we run into a lot of times is that uh, in Western medicine, we don't put near enough emphasis on hormones and, and hormone therapy as uh, somebody like myself believes we should. Mm -hmm. Now, you've talked a lot about um, like that finding that balance and um, <laughs> different ways to manage stress. What are some ways to help reduce stress? Absolutely. Well, one of the things that we can do to reduce stress is exercise. Uh, and obviously, we don't want to overdo it, especially if we're just starting out. Uh, the other thing is diet, uh, food choice, as well as quantity, um, you know, the quantity and quality type of scenario. Um, another thing is making sure, and this is one thing that a lot of a lot of professionals, a lot of parents have a hard time hearing, and an even harder time doing is taking personal time for yourself. Whether no, it's a twenty, yeah. <laughs> whether, whether it's a twenty-minute walk at night that's by yourself, no music, just it letting so yourself. It's selfish. It, it it does, but you know what I tell people is that if you take that personal time and you work on yourself, you become that better mother, that better father, that mm -hmm. better spouse, that better employee, friend, and family member. Now, mm -hmm. do you advocate for a lot of cardio? Uh, I do not advocate for a lot of cardio, even with uh, people who, even with people who come in and want to lose and need to lose a substantial amount of weight to become healthier individuals. I start out with no cardio because I do believe uh, that if we can uh, put in check our exercise and our diet, we can get very far without using that cardio uh, as as a tool that mm -hmm. that needs to be used. Will that further like? Uh, you know, cause more problems with like cortisol and stuff if you're over exercising. It, it absolutely could. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, Interesting. how do fi people find you online? <laughs> absolutely, thank you. Uh, you can find me just by my name on Facebook and other social media, or uh -huh. you can go to www.ift180.com. You are so full of information. I'm like, <laughs> okay. I want to dive deeper into all I know, into all I know. This. There's so much absolutely. there. Well, thank you so yeah. much. We love thank having you. you on the show and thank learning all so this much. information. Thanks, so, Blake. yeah. <laughs> thank you.